Greetings, Doug Celine, your digital photo guru here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a sepia tone in Lightroom. Stick around till the end of the video and I'll show you a really cool tip. Now here's a nice landscape image that would look wonderful as a black and white image and would look great with a sepia tone. So let's start by converting the image to black and white. In Lightroom, I, after I do my initial processing, I can just click black and white to convert it. Okay, that's good, but not great. So let's go down to the B&W panel and click Auto. It's better, but I like my skies a little darker. So I'm going to click the targeted adjustment tool and I'm going to drag down inside the sky. Now I've got a nice dark sky. Now let's convert the image to a sepia tone. And to do that, I go to the color grading panel. And in the color grading panel, I'm going to apply the change globally. Now you can create a sepia tone by just clicking and dragging until you get a nice brownish color, brownish gold color, or you can change the U saturation and luminance. Now I've done some research and they say the U is 30, saturation is 70, and luminance is 26. And if I enter these values, I've got a pretty decent sepia tone to, for my taste it's a little bit too strong so I'm going to hold the shift key and drag this slider to back it down just a little bit and that's about perfect so there's my sepia tone and here's before and here's after now comes the cool part I'm always a proponent of why I work harder when you can work smarter so here's the tip I promised you I am going to create a preset for my sepia tone so to do that, I just click the plus button, click create preset, and you can put it in user presets. Now, I've already created a bunch of folders for my presets. So I'm going to put it in my presets, and I'm going to call it sepia tone brown. And I'm going to check none. And when you do that, the only thing that's left is the process version. That's checked because when you convert from one version of Lightroom to another, your presets will update as long as you have process version selected. Now I'm just going to click color grading and click create. And now I'm going to go back into my history and undo the change I just made. Now I'll go into my presets and choose sepia tone brown, and there it is. So there you have it, folks, creating a sepia tone in Lightroom and creating a preset for it. 